In Kenosha County, fentanyl deaths are on the rise. One mother is now taking it into her own hands to keep heartbreak from hitting families as it has hers. Our Madeline O'Neill joins us live in Kenosha tonight with the training health officials say everyone should sign up for. Well, here in this building, they just finished up training on Narcan, the opioid overdose reversing drug. Now, the hosts say not only should everyone know what it is, but how to use it. I lost my daughter, Sarah, November 24th of 21 to a fentanyl overdose. When death takes so much. In addition to that, she was pregnant, so I also lost my granddaughter, Miliana. Teresa Newman is focused on giving back. I think this is what Sarah would want. This is, in my opinion, a lesson learned. If I can provide that lesson and, and help others not go through what my family went through, that, again, bottom line. It's a life-saving lesson. We're going to teach everyday people how to use Narcan. At a free event hosted by Newman's nonprofit, Sarah's Hope and Recovery Foundation, which supports people with addictions and their families. With fentanyl deaths on the rise, Kenosha County Opioid Task Force Chair Carrie Foss says it's much like people learning first aid or CPR. They want to be available to their community, and I believe that Narcan is exactly the same. You could save someone's life. Through this work, Newman is channeling her daughter, Sarah. She was a spitfire, but she also would give you her shirt off her back. Giving back so more lives aren't taken away. And if we all pull together, I really think we could do so much good. Now, this event also had resources on recovery, something health officials stress is 100% possible. And Newman, the mother you heard from, says this is just the beginning. She plans to hit the streets to hand out Narcan and fentanyl test strips. We have more information on her foundation on our website. Live in Kenosha, Madeline O'Neill, Box 6 News. She's doing such good after such tragedy. Madeline, thank you.